Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's Problem of the Week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's Problem of the Week asks you, given uh, C1 through CK, a finite collection of closed subsets of Rn, it's asking you to prove that the finite union, so C1 union C2 union all the way up to union CK, is closed in Rn. So we're going to do we're going to go ahead and approach this proof using, I'm going to go ahead and approach this proof. Uh, there's multiple ways to do it, but using De Morgan's Law and kind of bouncing off what last week's problem of the week, which asked you that given a, a finite collection of open subsets of Rn to prove that the finite intersection of open sets is open in Rn. So we're going to go ahead and assume that we know that fact. I proved it last week. It's in the uh, footnotes of the, um, you can see last week's problem of the week uh, in the archive. It's also in the footnotes of this week's transcript. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing that proof, uh, but okay, so we're going to go ahead and first let um, this set here, we're going to create the set uh, CI, where I goes from 1 to K, we're just setting the index from 1 to K because we're just kind of making a set of our subsets here. So now we can go ahead and uh, consider, so Rn, so we're trying to define that it's closed in Rn, so we're going to take Rn minus, so this is a set notation for minus. So we're going to subtract off the union from i equals 1 to k. So subtracting off basically all of these closed subsets. So we're subtracting off all of the ci's. And we know by de Morgan's law that rn minus uh, this is going to be equal to the intersection from i equals 1 to k of uh, Rn, excuse me, Rn minus Ci. This is just a Morgan's law here. So if you'll note that on the right-hand side, we have the intersection of, so if you just consider this quantity here, so Rn minus a closed set, so we have the complement of a closed set here is going to be open. So intersection, so we have the finite intersection of open sets here, which as we proved last week, is open in Rn. So we have an open set here. And we have the complement here. So we have Rn minus the union here. So this is also open. So therefore, we know that since the right-hand side of the equality is a finite intersection of open sets, which is open in Rn, we know that the complement of an open set is closed by definition. And therefore, we know that the finite collection of closed sets, so the finite, uh, excuse me, the finite union of closed sets in Rn here is going to be closed. So basically just through analysis using De Morgan's law, just looking at it and saying, okay, well, so we know this is going to be open in Rn, and Rn minus this is going to be um, also open in Rn, therefore the complement of an open set is a closed set. So we know that this is also a closed set in Rn. So that's pretty simple once you can kind of use this little trick here using De Morgan's law. So that's actually going to be it for this week's problem of the week. So again, if you're interested in seeing the proof on why the finite intersection of open sets in Rn is, an open, is also an open set in Rn, or is open in Rn, you can see last week's problem of the week, uh, which I will also link to in the description of this video, and it will also be in the, uh, the footnotes of this week's transcript for the problem of the week. Uh, kind of cool, interesting proofs that kind of complement each other. So if you want to see more problems of the week, you can visit our YouTube playlist here. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click here. And if you'd like to visit us at centerofmath.org, click here. Thank you for watching.